Dan Perry here, and welcome to part 11 of our TCPIP Basics series, What is Subnetting? Uh, in this video, we're going to explain what subnets are. Okay. Now, when you look at networks, they can get very large. And as a network gets large, it becomes more difficult to manage. So what we tend to do is break a large network into smaller ones. And if you remember, the Class A networks by default had 16 million IP addresses. Imagine how you would manage a single network with 16 million devices on it. I don't think you could. So by taking that 16 million single network, divided it in, dividing it into perhaps even thousands of networks in a very large company, each individual network is much easier to manage and troubleshoot. Sometimes we would isolate them just for security reasons. If I've got a research and development di uh, division in my company, I probably want their network separate from the rest of the uh, company network just for security reasons. Uh, I have a network at school that is for our networking class and it is separated for reason, security reasons not that we're doing anything that is secret but some of the things we do in class in testing and all could have an adverse effect on the main campus network so we isolate that network that way yeah. subnetting is the principle of taking that large network breaking it into smaller networks so you take maybe a class A network, you break it into a thousand smaller networks, or a class B um, into a dozen or a hundred. Even class C's can be subnetted, although for in, in real life situations they are generally not. For, from a standpoint of learning subnetting, I find it easier to teach the principles of subnetting working with a class C network because we're working with a fairly small network to start with. Now, subnet masks show us how the network is broken down, what bits are used for the host, and what bits for the network. Okay. If we take in this example a standard class C network where the first 16 bits are network and the last 16 bits are the host, and we say we want to break it into smaller networks. We break that down by borrowing bits. And in this case, we have borrowed four bits from the host portion, giving us now 20 bits for the network and only 12 bits for the host. Now, by borrowing four bits, uh, we now have a small, have more networks but they're smaller. Uh, the subnet mask in this case would be 255, 255, 240, 0, because four ones followed by four zeros in a uh, byte or an octet gives us a value of 240. Next time, we're going to look at how we actually do the subnetting, do our subnetting calculations how we get our different networks, how we choose the number of networks that we need, and work with them. 